used to think we could outrun anything, that the life would never catch up to us, but I was wrong. When Rick and Raina were born, Ghost asked me to be their godfather. I was supposed to protect them. I'm supposed to be this great prosecutor, and here I am, colluding to cover up a murder. You guys, everybody on Twitter, Every social media platform, when can we get season five? I know, when we're the same way, because we don't yes. get to see them until you guys see them. We see them a little bit, like a week yeah, before is our before, premiere. But listen, that's it. you Google Power, and people are like, do you guys know when it's coming? Wow. You guys know when it's coming? <laughs> yeah. So, July 1st, 9 p.m., Stars, or on the Stars app. <laughs> they're ready for it. Yeah. So, you guys have these amazing characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, your character just. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of false hubris, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about, you know, a quality about your character that you've learned that you maybe have applied to your own life. I think his drive to just be the best and not care about who respects his vision, but really just wants to strive for that and really believes in himself. I think, you know, with the with the Ghost and, and the Kanans and the Tommies, you know, they're like, he views them as Brick Brothers, but even still, he's like, I want my own. You, exactly. And that's kind of how it is in a way, because you respect everybody's space, but at the same time, you also want to create your own path. So I think that's kind of the similarity. What about you? I mean, um, it's just like so. Uh, I look at this, I'm like, God, it's like, it's never a dull moment. Yeah. It's like, oh my goodness, I wasn't Things ready Things are for pretty that. extreme with Tommy. <laughs> it's actually a great excuse to, to have that in my life, you I know, know what I mean? I look at you, you have such, you know, this clean cut, like, look about yourself, but then these, like, piercing blue eyes that are like, don't F with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of Joe. I think that, that, no, that is I think that Joseph is like, yeah, yeah. like, my, my, my line is so much longer than Tommy's to cross. But mm -hmm. if you cross me, oh, then yes. we got problems. Yeah. Right. But I think that Tommy does, he's... He's actually kind of a strict soldier in a lot of ways. Mm. Even though he gets sloppy, using the, all his own products sometimes, <laughs> getting a, off on these different tangents, but his aim is true. Um, he doesn't, I, something that I wish I applied more to my life is he doesn't sec second guess his gut. Mm. He's like, this is right. And he says that, I mean, we think of season four, I yeah. think of season four when he's just like, I know you're lying, lying to me. To me. Mm -hmm. Why are you lying to me? And then, and then so he knew, he knows he's right. He trusts in that gut to get him places. I wish, I, I feel like I do that, and then I second guess myself sometimes, or I mm -hmm. won't fully go through with it. So that's a quality of Tommy's I've tried to apply to my life. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. So when did you have a feeling that this show was gonna be an amazing hit? Like, this is going to, this show's going down in the history books. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. I mean, I mean, when Raina was killed, I mean, you okay. had intellectuals, I mean, from like Harvard and all these like Ivy Leaguers trying to figure out why right. did they write that? Why did they make that happen? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the brilliance of the <coughs> writing, um, our show's creator and showrunner, Courtney A. Kemp, is just really a brilliant writer and coupled with um, our other writer executive, Gary Lennon, they're mm -hmm. really a fantastic a dynamic duo bringing us such intelligent and thought thoughtful and thought-provoking television yeah. because of the transcendence of this. I think because it speaks to somebody who is um, uh, working a blue-collar job as well as it's speaking to somebody who's uh, at, in an Ivy League institution. Wow. So I think that when you can reach that kind of transcendence, that speaks to the people who are putting the um, pencil to the page mm -hmm. wow. incredibly. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Super proud of everybody that has anything to do with this show. You guys are just going to do This is it. his season. Yes, thank you so much. My daughter's dead. Somebody's got to pay for it. Once I'm done with Dre, I'm out the game for good. Never underestimate a good public image. How we know we can trust you, Kay? I got you. We'll all feel better once this is over.